And what's going on, guys? This is Taiba And two days ago, I was doing some scouting and came across two new pairs of New Balance 574 in a mid cut. Now, these are called the New Balance 574 uh, Vantage 1. Again, a lot of brands want to go back to their roots. And that kind of a concept has been resurrected in many brands. Now, New Balance, I wouldn't say, has ever veered away from that. So the 574 is a classic. They haven't tried to make any modification. And I love the 574. I actually wear my 574 every day to work. They are that comfortable. Now, this one is called the Vantage One. It's a mid-cut and it's built for guys that maybe work in some kind of, maybe environment that's hazardous. Okay, maybe you don't want to wear a pair of Timberland, so you want a lighter version. This will work for you. It's a mid-cut. It's almost like a hiking slash trail shoe. It's built to last, but it's also built to, to make you look good. And it's comfortable. Now, this one is built with a combination of new buck leather and some kind of nylon, or they called it Cordura material, and it's very durable, okay, scuff-free, so that's gonna last you a long time, and they are cheap, okay, they're about $100 or something like that. So on the ankle, you have a lot of padding there to cushion your ankle. Now the outsole, again, is a trail. Trail shoes are really rugged, so any surfaces will work on this. Or this shoe will work on any surfaces. So what you have from the toe to the back, again, is new buck leather, and near the ankle, you have that Cordura material. Again, new buck leather on the upper, and pretty much on all the overlays, even the underlays is covered with new buck. On the midsection, you have your New Balance logo, which is typical of most 574, and cap midsole. And if you look at the ankle side, the quarter panel, you have that Cordura material. Okay, I think the shoe are 3M. I did not put my flash on, so I wouldn't be able to confirm that. Now, on the heel, you have that plastic material. This is to stabilize your ankle, so it's not, it has to be sturdy to make sure your foot doesn't wiggle. Now, inside of it, you have your cushioning on your padding inside of the ankle line again that's to cushion your ankle and again it's topped off by the ankle cap midsole which delivers i mean otherworldly um cushioning i love the ankle cap midsole okay i wear the shoe every day to work so i know what i'm talking about when it comes to the 574 they are that comfortable so again padding on the tongue and its extension new balance branding on outside of the tongue and the shoe costs about 100 bucks again this is easy to get now your your outsole again, very rugged, so it's built for every surface. Now I'm gonna also show you another pair that's built a little bit different than this one. So it comes in some kind of a, a brown um, upper, okay? Now this is built with some kind of a, man, premium leather. Again, then you have the same Cordura material, but now the time, this time the Cordura also to covers the top of the shoe and then the quarter panel. Again, but it's the same build pretty much as far as like the same silhouette, no same build because this is built with leather. Okay, now I like the first pair better. I don't really, I'm not really fond of this colorway. You have your laces there. And then again, you see that sticker, the tag, the hang tag tells you exactly how that Cordura work. It's scuff free, so it's durable. So the shoes now, you can even, I don't know if you can put a blade to it, but they built it so that way it won't tear up easily. Again, New Balance makes some pretty dope shoes. They are durable, they are cheap, and they are and they are comfortable. Okay, the 574 again is my favorite shoe of all time, besides my Warachi 2K4 for basketball. Again, the same uh, outsole and cap midsole. If you want to grab these shoes, I will have a link for you in the description. Again, thanks for watching. This is Ty from Master Kicks. Stay tuned for more stuff.